Okay, welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Maths Channel, and I'm now going through question number six from the Pure Mathematics P4 October 2021 International A Level at Excel exam. This question here is about integration. It tells us that figure two shows a sketch of the curve with the equation 16 sine 2x over 3 plus 4 sine x all squared, where x is between 0 and pi over 2. And the region R shown shaded in figure 2 is bounded by the curve, the x-axis, and the line with the equation x equals pi over 6. This region here says using the substitution u equals 3 plus 4 sine x, show that the area of R can be written in the form a plus l uh, lin b, where a and b are rational constants to be found. Okay, so now we have to use this substitution to integrate this expression here um, between those limits given okay so we got to deal with this substitution now whenever we have to deal with substitution integration by substitution um, the best way to deal with it is to start off always with this our objective is to integrate the function y with respect to x between the limits given um, x1 and x2 which in this case are um, pi over 6 and pi over 2 Right, that's our objective. Okay, that's what we're trying to do. Now, because we have to use this substitution, what we're going to do is we're going to put this as y dx du du. If we always start off like this, everything falls into place so nicely. So it's very um, important to write down next y dx du du. And because now we're going to be integrating with respect to u, the limits will now in be in terms of u. And you will have basically to express everything here in terms of u. Okay, in terms of u. So we're going to use the substitution u is equal to 3 plus 4 sine x. So all of these terms here have to be expressed in terms of u. We've got to find what dx du is as well. All right, so let's first of all, let's, let's do that. We know that du dx is going to be, well, 3 disappears. You've got 4 times sine x gives you 4 times cosine x. That's du dx. So therefore, you can say dx du is the reciprocal of that. So it's 1 over 4 cosine x. I'll leave it in that form for now. That's dx du. So that's one part. So that dx du I'm going to replace with 1 over 4 cosine x and see what happens. Now I've got to take our function. Um, let's just write this at y equals 16 sine 2x over... 3 plus 4 sine x all squared. Now I'm going to try to write this so that I can replace everything in terms of u as well. So what I'm going to do is, uh, first I can see I've got sine x and cosine x here. This is sine 2x. So I can replace the sine 2x with 2 sine x cosine x using the identity that we should know. Okay, that sine 2x is 2 sine x cosine x. That's one of the identities that we should know from um, P3, but double angle formulae. And 3 plus 4 sine x, well, I know that's equal to u. So I can replace that with u squared. Okay. And if I rearrange this formula here, if I rearrange this, I'll, I'll do this up here. If I have u equals 3 plus 4 sine x, I can replace the sine x here. If I, if I rearrange this, u minus 3 divided by 4 is equal to sine x. So I can replace the sine x here. So let me just do this step by step. That's 16 times. I'm going to have, well, I can actually make it 32 times just to make things clearer. This is going to be 32 times sine x cosine x over u squared. So I can say y is equal to, now I know that sine x is equal to 3 u minus 3 over 4. So I'll have 32 times u minus 3 over 4. Okay, that's sine x. And I've got my cosine x, which I can see is going to cancel with this when I put them together. So I'm going to leave that as cosine x over u squared. So that's how I can write u so far. Now, let me just start dealing with this. So I can say y dx is going to be the integral of now I've got y, which I've written as this now. This is this is the y part. This is the y part. So it's 32. Um, okay, so this, let me just simplify that first, actually. 
That can simplify a bit more because the 32 and the 4 cancel. That gives you 8. So I'm left with 8 times u minus 3 times cosine x over u squared. So I can write this as 8 times u minus 3 over u squared times cosine x. That's y. That, that part is the y part. Then I've got times dx du. dx du is 1 over 4 cosine x. So this part is the dx du part. Okay, and then I'm going to put du. All right, and <clears throat> the cosine x cancels out. The 4 and the 8 cancel out, leaving you with the 2 there. So I've now got the integral of, I've got 2 times u minus 3 over u squared du. Okay, so that's so far what I've got, which I'm going to deal with on the next page. But let me deal with these limits here. This is x1 and x2. So let's find what u is. So let's go up here and do that. So I know that u is equal to, they told us to use u equals 3 plus 4 sine x. So u is equal to 3 plus 4 sine x. I need to put the limits in for pi over 6. So when x equals pi over 6, u is equal to 3 plus 4 times the sine of pi over 6. That's like um, 30 degrees, 3 plus 4. 3 plus 4 times a half, 3 plus 2, which is equal to 5. And when x is equal to pi over 2, then u is equal to 3 plus 4 times the sine of pi over 2. Now the sine of pi over 2 is 1, so it's 3 plus 4, which is 3 plus 4, which is equal to 7. So the limits are 5 and 7. So I know that my limits are here 7 and 5. So this is why I have to integrate. So I'm going to take this to the next page and we're going to integrate that there. So I'll write it out as it is 2u minus 3 over u squared. So I have 2u minus 3 over u squared and I've got my limits 7 and 5. I've got to integrate that with respect to u. So now what I, what I will do is to make this a bit simpler I'm going to take the 2 out. That's what I always like to do. You don't have to do that if you don't want to. And this is going to be u over u squared minus 3 over u squared. Now, u over u squared is going to be 1 over u. Minus 3 over u squared is going to be 3 times u to the power of minus 2. I'm going to integrate that with respect to u. Just rewriting this as u over u squared minus 3 over u. Okay, um, u, u squared, sorry. So... <coughs> u over u squared minus 3 over u squared, this becomes 1 over u, and this becomes 3 times u to the power of minus 2, ready to be integrated. So now I can integrate this. So now I have my square bracket. This will become the lin of the modulus of u minus, this will be 3u to the power of minus 1 over minus 1, and I have my, my limits of 7 and 5. Okay, so that's 2 times, let me just get it ready to put things in. This is going to be plus 3 over u, 7, 5. So now hopefully we can now write this in the right form. So far it's looking just, just right. So we have lin of the modulus of 7, which I don't have to put modulus now because it's a, it is a positive number. So I can just put lin 7 plus 3 over 7 minus, I'm going to put 5 in here. So that'll be lin 5 um, plus 3 over 5. Okay, so we have two times, and that's going to be lin 7 minus lin 5, which is lin 7 over 5. And you've got 3 over 7 minus 3 over 5. Okay, plus 3 over 7, take away 3 over 5. So this is going to be 2 times lin 7 over 5. And that's 3 over 7, that's over 35. 35 times 5, that's 15, minus, that's uh, 7, that's going to be 21. So you have minus 6 over 35. So now we can multiply by the 2. So you have 2 times lin, 7 over 5, minus 12 over 35. So we want it in the form, they said in the form, A plus lin B, so they don't want any constant here, so I can use the power law. So I'll have 
minus 12 over 35 plus that'll be the lin of 49 over 25 using the power law and this is the form in which they wanted it a plus lin b they didn't want any constant here so i've written it in the form required and that is the area under that curve for question number six um <clears throat> Okay, I hope that was clear. As I said, writing things out in this format here really helps to make everything fall into place nicely. Don't forget to change the limits. And uh, here we needed to think of things in terms of the identity sine 2x because everything else we had in terms of sine x, and this was sine 2x, you had to change it to single angle using the double angle formula. Okay, so there's the answer to that question. I hope that was clear. Other questions from this um, paper can be found in the playlist that should appear in this area. Other questions from integration for P4 can be found in this playlist. And you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on the link over here. Thank you for watching and see you soon.